drift of electrons and the origin of resistivity. Every metal or conductor has valence electrons which are in rapid random thermal motion in zigzag manner. The average speed at room temperature is around 10 raised to power 5 meter per second. Due to the random direction of motion of such electrons, their average thermal velocity is zero at room temperature. That is, U1 vector plus U2 vector plus U3 vector plus so on till Un vector by N is equal to zero. When some potential difference is applied across the ends of a conductor, say copper wire, an electrical field is set up inside the conductor and every free electron will start moving in definite direction opposite to the electrical field during which they suffer successive collisions against metal ions and lose energy. During the short time between two collisions, electrons accelerate towards the positive end and follow a curved path. As a result, the net velocity of the electron increases towards the positive terminal of electric field and is called drift velocity. If E is equal to electronic charge, M is equal to mass of electron, V is equal to potential difference, L is equal to length of conductor, then electric field strength inside the conductor is given by E is equal to potential difference by length is equal to V by L. Under this electric field, acceleration of each electron is given by A vector is equal to minus E E vector by M, due to which electron gain extra thermal velocity. The average velocity of the entire free electron is the drift velocity of the free electron. Therefore, Vd vector is equal to 0 plus A tau vector is equal to A tau vector or in terms of mean relaxation time, Vd vector is equal to minus E E tau vector by M. Mobility. It is responsible for current and can be defined as the magnitude of drift velocity of charge per unit electric field applied. That is, mu E is equal to E tau E by M E. Mobility of holes. Mu H is equal to E tau H by M H.